and mural arts came together to work with young people in Philadelphia. Through a placemaking process, they transformed the space that was underused and dark into a safe and attractive community place. I enjoyed watching it come together because when we first saw it, we were like, wow, this space is so bare and dry and sad. And now it's like beautiful and colorful and the kids like it. It was a six-week summer program in which we played and created with light, exploring its properties to understand color and perception and the way it affects our daily lives. We did a lot of conversations and drawing and sketching and hashing out ideas. All of that stuff is necessary to get to that end result. The students definitely enjoy that hands-on work. Getting in the space, putting all their ideas together and making it come to life. Objectively, I think it makes the space better because the people that frequent here, they all have something to look at now. There's even kids that were looking at our weaving, our painting, and they were enjoying it while we were still not even done yet making it. And it's already having a big effect on the community. Like while we were doing the work, we were having fun. So it wasn't just like a work ethic project. It was more of we were putting our own creativity and our ideas. Through the community outreach process, most people told us, hey, we can help you guys, and others just listen, and people were cool. Just gonna create like a really joyful feeling. This alleyway needed a little bit of love, especially at, at night when you're walking through. Once the transformation process was done, the space was ready for its activation. Participants defined a repertoire and a list of activities for the opening night of the Sunset Corridor. They invited neighbors, community and passers-by to the grand event. I thought the idea of illuminating the space was really great, especially since at night this is a very dark space. The goal was for everyone to experience the space as a place for community cohesion during the night. I'm praying that more people would show up and see that we made this for them more than just us doing it. Everyone came together in a celebration that included performances, speeches, and even ice cream. It was an opportunity to observe how the young community can transform and improve life quality in any neighborhood, using their creativity and working together to build their own place. It's been a real pleasure to work with Alumbra. The biggest joy of the project has been seeing them work so closely with our young people on the program. I learned that you should be able to be yourself and not be afraid of meeting new people. You shouldn't be afraid of new experiences. You should be able to feel yourself and you should be able to take a new place and make it your own.